do like hearing them bells. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say a few hellos. Get this party started. I'm gonna start with the 4G again today. I think it's on 4G. Are we on 4G? No, we're actually on 5. Let's see how that goes. For now. But we're gonna do some people watching today. My absolute favorite hobby in Las Vegas. Doesn't cost anything and never disappoints. Oh, the shady spot finally became available. Sweet. We're on the wide now. We're not wide enough quite yet. Bam! Uh, yeah, picture looking good so far. These are like precarious. See what I'm sitting the camera on? So I gotta be really careful. Nah, there we go. Except this young man just decided to block our viewage. It's all good. Do your thing. That was respectful. All right, let's say hello to a few people. Let's say hello to Janice, Tom Mack, Val Marie, Mary, Bill, Sony, and 90, Kyle, Venus, Gail, Chris, Angie, Kevin, Chanel, Fischel, Mark One, Maria, Kathleen, shout out, Destin, Florida, Joe Q, Laren, what's happening? Neutron 9, make it stop in Ohio. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's have a group think here. Bam. It should stop soon. Marie Bell, a steward. Keep them coming. I can keep up with everyone. Yeah, picture is looking pretty good today. We were like gank bills yesterday. I mean, it looks pretty good on, uh, on the 4G too. I just gotta lower the megabitage. I like having the high res activities. This guy's just chilling like Bob Dylan over there. So we're gonna do some people watching. Just finished up a stream over on my own platform, heybrofrederick.com, that was kind of fun. And just after I got done, those of you who were there know what we talked about. We talked about something called Iver something or other that you're not supposed to talk about can't talk about that here that's why we talked about it there and today wouldn't you know the report right after I got off I was just catching up on things oh uh, there's something going on with cows and birds and people and the cows gave something to birds as a gift and now they're giving it to the people and do 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 you know the the you know, the shit show we used to already. They're going to try it yet again, which makes the conversation that we have why you should be getting your hands on some Iber Woodsick face even more pertinent. So those of you who are in the know, now you know. I wish I saw that ad, I mean that article first about the, the birds and the cows and the people and whatever. It used to be bats and people. Now it's cows and birds. If you know what I'm saying. So they're going to try to whip out another one. Greatest selfie ever in the history of selfieisms. So if you want to join us over there, go ahead and do that. There's a link in the description to go get yourself a free piece of content that I put out. So you know what's going down over there. All right. What do we got? 165 people. So that's cool. It is beautiful today. It was 73.9 when I got out of the vehicle. It's a beautiful summer day. If it would stay like this, oh my god. But it's not. <laughs> it's gonna go. It's gonna blow. Yeah, let's do some people watching. We'll perch over here for a while. I like perching. 
Then we'll go across the street to a little spot over there, maybe down the block to our other spot. The other spot's kind of cool. That abandoned little uh, restaurant bar. That's a fun place to hang out and people watch. See all kinds of peoples over there. See all kinds of peoples everywhere. But I love just checking people out. I don't know why. I'm a student of the human condition. And I learn a lot just watching people interact. Interact with me even though I'm not doing nothing. It's kind of fun. Oh, tornadoes. Is that the precursor to eclipses? We talked about that today too. So let me say hello. I gotta keep my hands on this camera. Yeah, right? People watching the best. I gotta keep my hands because it's like one false move or one stiff breeze and everything is in the drink. So I'm gonna hold on to it. And I'm also going to say, bro, Frederick coming at you live from the Las Vegas Strip, and I'm gonna invite you to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is at least five times a week. Get on a sports channel. I got all the stuff. You can like, share, subscribe, get Patreon, what is that? Venmo, Cash App, and of course, this is what you want to check out. HeyBorFrederick.com. Check me out over there. Raw and freaking uncensored. Unlike you. To a degree. Yeah. And of course, Super Chat, while I'm live, is the grease that keeps the wheels rolling. And I thank you because it's people like you who do Super Chat and support me on other things, including my new platform, that keep my channel going. So, I'm going to flip this around. Rock. Let's look at stuff. They just got all kinds of married. Should I yell, hey, did you get a prenup? Or would that be gauche? Nah, he looks smart. He probably got a prenup. Or maybe she got the prenup. That's like a traffic jam over here. He's the only dude singing. No one else is singing. I want to look at people. <laughs> Let's look at all the people looking at us. There we go. Now we got all the views. What up, boo? Chris and Frank, Alan, Francis. Greg, yeah, it's it's fun. I mean, just look at them, especially when they look at you. I don't mind if people look at me like they're looking at me. I don't care. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Captain Luke. I'm just reading through chat right now. Keith Bubba Maria. Highlander's Way. It's snowing in Chicago? Dang. I always recall the time I went in, I think it was the beginning of June, end of May. It was a convention right outside O'Hare, and it was snowing. It's like, seriously? Frickin' June? No, I think it was the end of May, but still. It's still kind of fun. Yeah, it is a pretty view. Alright, I think I'm caught up on chat activities. <laughs> they make days more perfect than this? I don't know where. I mean, to me, this is perfect. 73, slight cool breeze, not a cloud in the sky, although I like clouds, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, 
am going to do some live I'm not going to live stream. We're talking about uh, Rural Nation Get Together 2024 coming up in 17 days. I'm not going to live stream the, uh, the main event, but I'll find time to live stream some other things. So. This guy's busting some moves here. How big in terms of what, population or landmass? I will answer either of those. They claim our population, well, the uh, Clark County population is 2.2 million. But I think there's a lot of, uh, what are we supposed to call them now? Like a last guesstimate, there was 600,000. Between 300 and 600,000 people who are, um, how would you say, camping here? <laughs> I don't know how to call it. They keep changing the game. You know, the people come across the border. So that brings us to almost 3 million. Wow, that guy's got a high-pitched voice. Is that a guy? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, transient. <laughs> Across a few continents, they transiated. But that's been forever, you know. Like most of the people you see vending out here and the Mickey Mouses and whatever, the people selling beer, that's, you know, that's why they have lookouts. Kind of a unknown fact, but true nonetheless. Yeah, camping, exactly. You know, we can't talk about those things. Landmass? I don't even know. I mean, the mile, uh, the strip is approximately six miles. East to west is probably 30. Yeah, it's probably like 30 by 30. The actual city, but Clark County is much larger pretty big. It used to take shit. It used to take like 15, 20 minutes across the town from mountains to mountains, east to west, west to east. Now it takes about 45 to an hour. It's all developed. Well, it's a metropolis, kind of. It's kind of a, a small town in the grand scheme of things. A small town that thinks it's big. <laughs> this town has like tons of hubris concerning itself. And it, oh, this guy Peaky Blinder. Does he have a razor blade in his cap? Peaky fucking Blinder. Yeah, let's get closer over here. Let's get up where the action is. They just abandon their post. Ooh, Cholula. Mmm. <laughs> I put that on everything. That and horseradish, but horseradish always wins a day. And then Cholula. I got got burnt. See, now I'm like in everyone's face. Now they're all looking. Those people are supposed to, you know what I found out today Alan that they're all supposed to like regardless of status if your feet are on the soil you're supposed to register for uh, selective service I never knew that it's actually it's actually written it is written the other thing I heard today that a lot of uh, military reti retirees are being called up have you guys heard anything about that or know anyone who's been called up or offered to be reinstated? That's some trippy shit. Wonder why. 
on the way we're heading. No, well, try a sandwich pal horseradish. That stuff is good. That might change your mind. I mean, I don't like, you know, pure, like, you know, gnaw on a horseradish myself, but that sandwich pal stuff is, it's crazy. It's crazy good. What is this? It's, got, it's dropping beats. Hibbit, 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 the hop and you don't stop. And see, see the swirl from the electric motors? I will continually bust that myth. You can see the electric motor underneath it if you look close. I mean, they are steering it to a degree, but it's still, uh, it's got trolling motors on it. Punch of trolls. We were tired 25 years ago. Yeah, probably not. Some, uh, there was some, I was reading one article where some guy was out for, like, people between recent to up to 15 years are getting letters, you know, they're, like, politely asking them to return to service. That's, uh, that's a problem. Your chat is working now, Lauren. Oh, horseradish and Brit. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, a little Polish activities. A friend of mine bought me a jar of them Polish pickles. I freaking love Polish pickles. Polish people make the best pickles ever. Like you don't you don't pull any punches on the dill and on the garlic. And like, I don't know, it's just so natural. Like when you bite it, it just squishes juice everywhere. They're just the best. Like that whole Vlasic, you know, oh, it snaps and all that other, that, that, you know, whatever. That's not a true pickle, you know, in the sense of pickle. In the sense of pickledom. But they're expensive. It's like a small jar. I said, no, left the price on, so I peeped it, you know. <laughs> and it was like 13 bucks for a small jar of pickles. I was like, dang. Supposedly, there's a, well, supposedly, where they go is a, a Polish shop in town. I gotta go check that out. Go see what other Polish cuisine is out there. Aloha. What do you got? Latkes? Did you twist your ankle? I like mixing uh, the sandwich pal in with uh, in with tuna. And I cut it with a little uh, well yeah, I do put a little mustard in it. Cut it with a little olive oil mayonnaise. Otherwise like the eyes would be tearing. Everyone's just chilling, enjoying the weather. They're like, oh my god, we're in Vegas, what up? Classic is boiled, limp, good Polish pickle. Yeah, it's a little, like these, they weren't as good as the last ones. These were like the, uh, the ones with like, you know, ribbed for your uh, pleasure type uh, ones. They're like the, what, what do they call those? Like the, like the gherkins that you get in the kosher spot. They're just large versions of those. Well, the ones before were, you know, like sizable. Without the little ribs on them. Still good nonetheless. I'm thinking of making my own. Because El Super sells like, you know, like the little Persian uh, cucumbers and whatnot. I'm going to make my own. I make like a five gallon bucket for the cost of one. I saw the spices. Bubbly pickles. Yeah, I like pickles. Try Bix brand from Canada. Hmm. I shall. Oh, they're from Canada. I've been watching the, what's going on up there in terms of pricing. I thought we had it here bad here in Vegas. I saw some, oh, shut up, I saw some, uh, 
video of someone in a supermarket in Canada. I was just like appalled. It's like a pack of chicken was 150 US. Like everything is, the inflation is nuts you guys are experiencing up there. Yeah, getting hit with the sun and the eyeballs. I'm gonna shift over here. Amore When the moon uh, the name of the park is Angel oh, what is it? You know, it's, it's a pickle reference. <laughs> I don't know about them other things. I, I don't mess with them. I think I messed with them once when I was like I don't know, thirteen or fourteen. Then I just made up my mind. I was like, huh. If there's even a concern that I should have to do this, then I probably shouldn't <laughs> with this person. You know what I'm saying? It's just logical. Bolt head with the two banana runners. Activity does a wild bear caca in the woods um yeah <laughs> yes they do and I do appreciate that did you guys see the end of the video this was in the... yeah I, I saw that those chicks walked in and the dude was sleeping in their bed and she's like that That was funny she, she handled it well unless it was yeah you can't believe everything that you see because you know like 80% of it's stage for views but she was like, Daddy, come on, Big Daddy. <laughs> Get up, Big Daddy. And I was like, that's kind of funny. That was a funny story. Big Daddy. Pickled green tomatoes. And, uh, what do you call it? Um, fried green tomatoes for the first time not too long ago. It was actually pretty good. I was like, yeah, I can get down with that. <laughs> Banana peppers are good. I don't like, I don't, I'm not really down with the okra all that much. I've tried it. I've done my best to try it, especially when I was in Florida, you know, because it's very southern and whatever, 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 so, but I, I just couldn't get down with it. I mean, fried, anything's fried, anything, I'm, anything that's fried is good, but like I saw an okra, and this okra was like all like kind of snotting all over the place, it's got that weird thing going on. So I'm like, uh, texture kind of turned me off. I gotta drink some water. That's what I gotta do. Oh, people coughing. Run away. Enrique, member for 36 months. Like, from the jump. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Pickle watermelon lines? I didn't know they did that. That sounds interesting. Smack someone upside the head with that umbrella. The name of the park was Angel Trailhead. Yeah, Angel Trailhead Park. That's true. Yesterday. That was fun yesterday. I like starting them off at the park. Parks are cool. Until the heat kicks in, then they suck. I like the one down south, the horse park, where people can ride their horses and whatever. That's always fun. Completely uh, impartial. Okay. What do you say, Peaky Blinders? Is he a Peaky Blinder? 
wearing some capris. I don't think he is from our neck of the woods. He's wearing capris. It's a very European thing. I used to be a member of Canyon Gate for years. I played that golf course like fuck. 100 plus times. Clam diggers. <laughs> Send that sunshine ahead. Wow. Getting blizzard. Well, yeah, in Upper Michigan. Hell yeah. We painted and dyed our Easter eggs with onion peels. Really? Like the red onion ones? Yeah, they, they, yeah, I guess they would dye you. I feel like moving. Because I have to hold on to the gimbal. Because I'm so afraid it's going to, like, slip off this dome. <laughs> you know, the, the tripod is holding it. Kinda. That's a nice view. In the OC, Orange County. somewhere else to scope people out. I think we've scoped enough of them out. Damn, that dude's tall. Oh. I think she is a she's an influencer. She's influencing everyone around her. Yeah, let's head let's head south. South of the border. Back across and get free everything. It'll be sick. Oh, they turned the water back on. So the <coughs> Tropicana closed today. AMF to the Trop. I bet even if I went, I was thinking about that. I'm like, you know, maybe I should go for the closing. But they're going to say the same thing. Like, down in five minutes. No streaming. You, you, you're freaking closing. You're like, you're, you're padlocking the place. They, nope. Such a holes over there. And it's funny too how the town is like, you know, going through this thing. Oh my god, I can't believe it's gone. And if you ask them, when was the last time you were there? They'd be like, um, 1984. It's like, oh, now you're. <laughs> People are funny. People are funny. Yeah, just tear that shit down already. I'll help. I will donate one hour of my time with a sledgehammer to help that shit fall over. Tropicana. <sighs> Never had a good experience in, there, in the history of me. Not one. Let's camp out here for a little while. This is kind of fun too. Except this is going to get kind of loud. Oh, free food. They were letting people stream yesterday. That's cool. Now my heart is broken. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wouldn't give them a, another freaking 10 minutes of my time. I'm glad they closed. <sighs> That's them. Alright, let's find out here. Oh, let's listen to... Uh... Yeah, that, that makes some good sky rap, too. Let's find out here. Listen to the sound of the water. Get all relaxed. 
combat boots and mini skirts. Actually, this is kind of relaxing, listening to the water. Like I said, I'm not going to blame them for their behavior because they're, uh, you know, their severance package of 2000 a year that they work there was sort of at, uh, you know, at risk, so they just told the line. It's the people running it. They're just total assholes. Sorry, the audience didn't mind either. Yeah, skin is mine. So what up? Let me know when the waterfall gets annoying. <laughs> I don't know, are those burritos? Looks like how I make my uh, macaroni and cheese. Oh, this guy's about to ruin our whole vibe. He's fixing the flow. Yeah. That guy's gonna make this corner intolerable for us. A lot of people coughing. Stay away. Exactly. You know the claims are coming. They would say some bullshit like, uh, "Oh, cover music was detected in your video." Bro, Frederick. Therefore, we have to give it to someone. <laughs> we, we, we have to find a way to give your money to somebody. I mean, if they gave it to charity, I guess it would be cool, but they don't. They should be going after the dudes who are doing the cover. That would make way more sense. I still don't drink any water. I gotta drink me some water. A blah, blah. This is as good a spot as any. That's, I'm in that camp. I'm thinking that the Hard Rock's gonna buy the TI and put the guitar over there. It's done with that raiding all the properties in town, according to my own system and likes and whatnot. On my own sliding scale. I might not jive with, you know, Taurus, but it's just about me. this guy doing? He's out jogging his pit bull and his baby. That's kind of cool. I guess. I don't know.
and then bankruptcy or death. Or it could buy 45's place down the block. That's the rumor I heard. Aloha, eight, 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 all the eights. You got the vid for the first time four weeks ago, and you got all the the things. Yeah, well, that's pretty common. It's kind of the way it went. This is a glorify. No, nope, can't talk about it. We talked about it today. Can't talk about it. What's up? Even though they said they released uh, a statement saying that we're all allowed to talk about that. Oh, shut up. But they still sanction you if you do. There was a, a YT dude who they just put in a crossbar hotel for six months here in town. You know, one of those uh, First Amendment auditor type individuals. Oh, do I have to mute? I think I have to mute. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do 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 Yeah, I do. People eating out of garbage pals, but we can afford to like give newcomers all sorts of perks. Yay! Newcomers. I think that's what they call them now, right? Newcomers? Not UN operatives? build a, a 700 or 650 foot tower right off the strip called the King David, the first uh, old kosher hotel, no lie, truth, <coughs> that'd be interesting if they did that. Yeah, they're going to push them to be able to cast their mailings. Oh, they're already doing that. <laughs> She's walking. Alright, it's far more interesting down here. I don't know why, but it just is. Ah, look at all the traffic already. Kosher. It's gonna be kosher. It's, uh, you know, because that's okay now. You know, you can you can do stuff like that. Like here, what's the other one? They're doing a like a Hispanic only, and uh, you know, so they're gonna do a a Jewish only and a only only. You know, instead of bringing people 
together. We're like, everyone's segregating themselves now. It's kind of weird. We came so close. <laughs> we came so close to having a together world. Up until like 20. So close. That was so far. In, in fact, we're going in the opposite direction. Falling in love with you. Are you singing live? In? No, I'm YouTube, and you want All to say right. hello? Hello. You're looking good. Very show girly. Solid size zero. Very nice. Double zero. Double zero. Even better. What up? Did I call it or what? I know my zeros. What was I talking about? I'm distracted. Menopause the musical? No, we weren't talking about that. Oh, we're talking about kosher hotels. That's a cover song. I'm screwed. I'm not sure where they're gonna put it. I you know I look at stuff and I'm like, yeah, I just don't my brain doesn't work like that. I need room for more important things than the exact location of a kosher hotel. Other Y tiers can cover that in great depth. Show up on site. <laughs> Walk around, do a 10 minute video. It's not my gig. I'm just like, ah, I heard this shit was happening. <laughs> I'm When I lived in New York, I had to keep a uh, one of the cabinets in my kitchen. I kept kosher. It's out of respect because I had so many uh, people I knew and did business with that were. they'd be just like, you know, they'd go in the cabinet, <laughs> you know, everything was done up, just for them. I had a rabbi and a rebbe come and, like, do all the stuffs. And I even had a grill. Like, I had an extra grill. And I had them, do oh, shut up, Michael Jackson. Do, 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 whoever you are yapping in my ear. You know, they buried it in sand and tossed a couple of blessings on it and everything. It's like, yeah, all right. Needless to say, I did not make any cheese burgers. I think we're far enough away. What? 007? <laughs> Double zeros? Yeah, I like my women like roulette tables. Zeros and double zeros. What up? Kosher delis are the best. 
I mean, there's one here, but it's okay. But it's nothing like a good Kanish. With some, uh, what up? With some, like, Kaspiasco mustard and whatnot. Oh, my God. Properly fried, cut in the middle, embedded with the mustard, put back on the grill, handed to you in a piece of parchment paper, wrapped in foil, you just munch it. It's the best. I'm seeing all the people. I still gotta keep an eye on the on the camera. I'm always afraid someone's gonna try to grab it and run. Bastards. Kosher women. Man. That's our meme today. What did it say? It said find you a woman that that prays behind your back. <laughs> I thought that was pretty clever. It'd be nice if they paved both sides of the street one day. <laughs> this side is a total shit. I mean, it's so bad. I don't know how the town can, like, look themselves in the mirror. The other side all smooth. This side's like, you can bury small animals up and down the strip with the holes that are in here. I never tried the deli inside New York, New York. Maybe I should. I see more and more young ladies covered, covered in tattoos on their chests, on their backs, on their stomachs, up and down their legs. I don't get it. What, what does that do? Like, who, who actually likes that? I mean, I'm sure people like it. It's a kink for everything, but, you know, I can attest to that, but still, it's just too much. They're so young, they don't realize it. How about a Westview? Yeah, I'll give you a Westview. I'm gonna go in that direction. I'll show you this direction. I'm gonna, I am gonna cross the street and we'll go on that side momentarily. It's not as fun looking in this direction because you can't really see what's coming and going. Like everyone's coming from this side. This is like a choke point. And you see a lot of people's backs. Pastrami on rye. Oh, matzo ball soup is good. I have to love matzos. AKA temporary tooth filling. They're awesome. Ah, this is the third commercial I got already. Skip. Montreal smoked meat. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's body art, but I mean, I, I like to see the, the feminine beauty of a woman and her curves and her skin. What up? <laughs> I see it. You know, and what makes her her. Say hey. Hello. There she is. How you doing? My IG is Christana123. <laughs> you owe me five bucks. Get back here. <laughs> I 
I saw one today. What was it? It was in a. It was in a video actually. Like when she put her like bent her knee completely where the thigh and the calf touch. It was a ladybug, and then when she opened her calf, it like opened up, and there's with the wings and everything up and down her legs and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know. I would just like, I don't know. It, it just it doesn't do anything, you know. I'd be like, bam, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. I'd be just like, all right, whatever. You know, what am I supposed to look at here? I'm supposed to look at what? The bow ties on the back of your thighs? That's supposed to get me like, you know, going or something? Oh man, those are the hottest bow ties on the back of your thighs. I don't know. It's just like, whatever. But that's just me, you know, to each their own. I, mean, I guess people still do IG. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm, it's like, it's like, shit. I mean, I hate to. I know a lot of people out there got tattoos, but there's a there's a point where it is graffiti. You know, it's like, what is this? Well, it's a story of my. No, it's not. It's not the story. Mickey Mouse has nothing to do with you. <laughs> that, <laughs> that koi fish. It's not telling me a story about your life, you know? If I was going to do one, it'd be interesting. Like, that's what my people used to do. They used to tattoo their stories, you know, extensively. You know, like a tapestry of their life, generally on their heads. <laughs> but nonetheless, you know, I got stories. Wouldn't be no koi fish. Wouldn't be a random Chinese symbol that says dumbass, you know? I don't know what I do. <laughs> He's flexing like a freak. Hey, you got the games, bro. You have to go over the board. Oh, board, no. I haven't looked at my Instagram and shit forever. People still send me messages now, but I just don't look. I don't, you know, I just, it's not my thing. You're thinking too much, go with it and enjoy, go with it and enjoy what? <laughs> Tattoos? I don't know, I think about everything too much. Uh, you know, I, what? <laughs> what up? Think less, do more, that's how you get in trouble. That's how you make dumb decisions. Thinking less and doing more. Analyze shit. Figure out whether it's right for you or you do anything. That's my thing. Overthinking is a superpower. <laughs> People twist that so much, that overthinking is bad. No, worrying. See, people confuse. They want you to think because they, they want everyone to be dumb. So they try to tell you that overthinking is a bad thing. But in reality, overthinking is a superpower. If you know how to do it correctly. It's worrying. They want to transpose worry <coughs> and overthinking. Yeah, worry is, is a, is a freaking mind cancer. Of course. We don't have a nice environment. I'm worrying about stuff. Go fix it, you know? Don't worry about it. Do something about it. Oh, give me the power to control the things that... Oh, my God. That... <laughs> I'll admit, that little freaking tapestry painting of... To worry about the things I can, grant me the peace to change. Oh, jeez. Let's go out and move mountains. <laughs> you know, everything's designed to make you mediocre. Even like quasi religion. Just make people mediocre as fuck. No, oh, you can't fix this. You can't change this. Just deal with it. 
covered in tattoos and looks like a, a subway in Manhattan. But just like, look past that and do her anyway. <laughs> you know? Like this world just thrives on mediocrity. And not using brains and common sense. Not me. Yeah, the serenity prayer. That's it's no. Don't don't think just think about that whole serenity prayer thing. It doesn't make sense on any level. It sounds like it makes sense. Give me the strength to change the things I can and the wisdom and the peace to the ones I can and the wisdom to know the difference. That's a cop out if you really, really dig deep into that. I'm sorry if all those people have to pull that off your wall right now or if you had a tattoo that says that, but just think about that. The level of mediocrity that's involved there. It, it's, not, it's not a good thought. There's nothing you can't change in life. Absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, I, I keep forgetting that. I'm not on my own platform. I gotta, I gotta tone the f bomb. There's nothing you can't change. You know, even if it doesn't involve you, you could still. There's still choices. Extricate yourself from the situation. You know, there's always a choice. There's nothing that's just like, oh, I can't do nothing about that. Da, da, da. There's nothing in life that's like that. Life doesn't work like that. You always have a choice in everything. You just don't exercise it. And they don't want you to exercise. They just, you know, there's, there's a, a force out there that wants you to let life happen to you. You hear what I'm saying? Let life happen to you. But you have ultimate control over granular aspects of your life. You know, oh, but I can't do anything about what's going on across the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, well, no. You, you can and you can't. You can change your mind about it. You can think about it this way. There's a lot of things, ways you can deal with it. You can go help. <laughs> you know, you, there's, there's always something you can do about everything. So, yeah, serenity prayer is just a recipe for mediocrity. In my opinion. That's all I'm saying. Found God lately? Um, he found me like freaking 40 years ago. <laughs> I didn't have to go look at What up? <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah. Being re oh my god. Responsibility and accountability is kryptonite. <laughs> for like most people. For most people, accountability is kryptonite. Who wants to be accountable for their actions? Oh my god. That's why people don't want to believe in a higher power. Because then there's someone to be accountable to. When you're a quote-unquote atheist or agnostic, then there's no accountability. You can just like, you know, pull your pants down, shit in the street, you know? Hey, boy. How you doing? You know, you're only accountable to how you feel. <laughs> Good times. Checking messages, checking super chat. Oh, nope. Good on the chat activities. Let me get over the old messages, see what you guys are talking about. Yeah, if you're not accountable, 
it's like, oh man. Then, then doing wrong and wronging others becomes very easy. But I'm a good person, quote unquote. Well, okay. Why? <laughs> You're not accountable just because. I don't know. I don't, I don't get stuff. I don't get stuff. I'm a simple man. Yeah, I mean, just just even think about it. In the word serenity prayer, it's supposed to be a prayer. So by saying that you have no control over anything, that eliminates the fact that it's a prayer. It, it's yeah, that, that that always drove me crazy since I was a kid. Like someone gave that to me once, and I was just like, what the what the f is this? <laughs> What in the mediocrity is this? Oh, it's getting interesting. There's more people heading this way. Yeah, exactly. If you don't like, go out and make some of your own, yeah. I believe in God, I just don't worship the idea. I don't know what that means. I'm going to have to expound upon that. That is a conundrum. This guy's taking all the pictures. He's getting all the shots. Hey, don't take pictures of me, bro! I'm safe to use my lightness. Isn't people watching awesome? Yeah, exactly. It's I would consider that that uh, that serenity thing. That's more of a uh, what do they call that? I was doing some on my other channel, uh, my soulful soundscapes. Uh, what do you call it? What do they call those things? You know, it's kind of the hippy dippy thing. Affirmation. It's more of an affirmation. It is certainly not a prayer. But it's an affirmation. Which, you know, there is there is legitimacy to affirmations. There honestly is. Because the way the brain works is you think something, and then you can speak it. Well, some people just don't have a filter, but they're still thinking it. You know, there's a there's a process. Then you can bring it into fruition. Then action. Once you can say it, then action can take over. But so affirmations do have merit. But that whole like, oh, I'll wake up to be a millionaire. I am manifesting. Manifesting is total bullshit. That's <laughs> that's some friggin' hippy dippy. Yoga, Renke bullshit, manifesting. Well, I'm gonna manifest a partner. I'm gonna manifest wealth. I'm gonna. I'm gonna no, you're not. You ain't doing shit. <laughs> you ain't doing shit. Just stop with the bullshit. The only people making money off manifestation bullshit is, you know, people teaching other people that it works. Other than that, you can sit there in the dark room and manifest till you're freaking blue in the face. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Sort of like passive income. Passive spiritual income. <laughs> it's funny stuff. I don't look in this direction. I'm finding this direction like way more interesting. Blab and grab it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna manifest. I'm gonna manifest a woman. I'm gonna manifest. Oh man, I'm gonna manifest wealth. Oh yeah, no, I ain't manifesting shit. Just be quiet. What up? Alright. Street pharmacist said he didn't want to be on my camera. 
He was waiting to pass the light turn. I didn't realize he was doing that, but whatever. What up, street pharmacists? Yeah, but okay, I I am good enough. I am I am, okay, I am good enough. What is it? I am smart enough and people like me. Alright, you wanna cover that real quick? Cause it seems to be like pretty uh let's see, it's pretty quiet chat activity right now. I'm about to wrap it up. Um let's see. Okay, who are you trying to convince? So basically an affirmation is trying to convince yeah. yourself of something that you, what, don't believe? I think it would be more mentally healthy to figure out the underlying cause as to why you don't feel good enough or why you don't feel worthy or why you don't feel the way you think you should feel. You know, rather than trying to sell it to yourself by repeating it over and over, I'm a good person, I'm a good person, I'm a good person, I deserve, I'm a good person. You're not going to convince yourself, because if deep down inside you think you're a piece of shit, you can affirm until you're blue in the face and you're not listening to yourself. you got to deal, in my opinion, with the cause of those root feelings that you're trying to convince because all you're trying to do is brainwash yourself I mean that's what affirmations basically are to a certain degree it's uh, self brainwashing but it doesn't work oh <laughs> how are you? pleasure to meet you you want to say hello? hey how are you doing Vegas? <laughs> thank you I appreciate that you too that's cool. He's digging the vibes. But yeah, so people are just trying to brainwash themselves. But you can't fight what's so deeply ingrained in your brain from some level of trauma that took place. Like that sense of unworthiness. That sense of... There goes a... Uh, one of them trucks. <laughs> I, that's like the third or fourth one I've seen. Maybe it's the same one. Who knows? But um, there's something deeper going on. It's a deeper trauma involved that you got to address. You got to let that shit out and you got to let that shit go. And basically, I mean, I'll, I'll break it down real quick. I mean, we'll go into it in depth on my own channel. But for all intents and purposes, it's guilt. All that shit is based on some level of guilt for something that sense of like not being worthy that sense of not being good enough it's all rooted in some form of guilt either you did something or you should have done something or you did someone dirty or whatever you know or you were told you was ingrained as a child that you weren't you know up to par or whatever it was just beaten into your mushy brain when you were too young to fight it off and it's still a guilt issue so you gotta just like forgive yourself you know freedom comes from forgiving yourself it really does you know seek forgiveness from a higher power once and be done with it you know because it only takes once you know people like ask for forgiveness like 50 times for the same thing and God's up there going like what the fuck <laughs> you know God's a one and done deal you know? Yeah, you gotta just forgive yourself and, and move on. Affirmations, yeah, I mean, some things. Like if I was gonna go, you know, I was interviewing for a job, I'd be like, I'm the boss, I'm gonna get this job, I freaking deserve it, and then I, you know, I deal with it. You know, so there is some practical application but trying to brainwash yourself or undo deeply rooted trauma and issues by saying a couple of words a few times ain't gonna do nothing I'm sorry just saying
Yeah, he's, he's a one and done dude. <laughs> like most. One and done. Just ask me once and it's done. They keep asking me for the same shit. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a place for meditation, too. I get that. You know? I get the whole meditation thing. You know, calm down. Be Like, mo- okay. Here's where I, I, would, I would definitely say, you know, two thumbs up on the meditation thing. I mean, when I was in the martial arts thing, you know, part of that was, I wouldn't say meditating, you know. Don't, like the O-O-O-N thing, that's rooted in some devilish crap, so don't do that. But, um... Basically, what you're doing is these, well, people, two things. People try to not think at all, or they get, you know, more introspective and whatever, whatever, which is a good thing, because most people nowadays, they run from themselves, you know? They're not running from much else except themselves. Their thoughts, their whatever. Escape. That's why, you know, people are so addicted to shorts and all this other stuff and music and blah, blah, blah. Just anything to escape being alone with how I think and how I feel. So the act of meditation, you know, it can go in two directions. Some people use it as escapism and other people use it to get in touch with themselves. And I think that's extraordinarily healthy to know how you tick. You tick like no one else. There's no therapist on earth who can get inside your head and fix anything. You know, they can give you some recommendations or whatnot if they're objective enough and they're just not, you know, being paid to agree with you. But for all intents and purposes, there's only one, there's only one you. Only you know how you tick, you know? And sometimes you gotta, like, look yourself in the mirror and figure that out. Have a good cry and freaking move on. You know? And again, goes back to forgiving yourself. I know you're feeling me. <laughs> There's monks going back to someone. Hey guys, what up? <laughs> yep. Oh, now my kick's ringing. Wow. Yeah, guilt is... Yeah, I grew up in the, the Catholic environment, too. Guilt was weaponized. 100% weaponized. You know? That's why they don't, like, you know, in their... They even leave them on the cross in the Catholic religion. You know, that's just to keep the guilt alive. But, you know, Sunday was about the fact that he got the F off it. <laughs> you know, that's how deeply rooted Catholicism is in guilt. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a powerful weapon, guilt. Is which my quote, Kevin? Yeah, it's definitely a monk spot. <laughs> See, I wouldn't even come up with half this stuff if I didn't think deep enough. And I still harbor, like, incrementally throughout the course of my life, I've shed a lot of, you know, like, I'm not, just because I can say it doesn't mean I'm perfect, but I've shed a lot of the, you know, the crappy things, and I've, I've, I've sh- you know, <laughs> I, I still to this day can find reasons to forgive myself, you know? I mean, I don't necessarily believe in the whole karma thing, because I did that, this happened, or whatever. You know, I, I could explain karma <laughs> pretty simply, but I'm not going to do it here. It's too in-depth. But it's too in-depth, but it's extraordinarily simple at the same time. Karma isn't like you do this and yes, you, you reap what you sow, blah, 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 you know, where that works like gravity, of course. But some people don't reap what they sow, you know? Some people prosper. 
You know, that's not universal. It sounds good, but it's not universal. Karma is not what people think. Karma isn't like, you know, isn't a replacement for much. Oh, I, I agree 100%, Dave. You know, it, it, the foundation was uh, in that to, to bear, I mean, just uh, the, uh, bear your cross. Just bear your cross. This is my cross to bear. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. Uh, don't, don't give me that. Don't give me no crosses to bear. I'm, I'm good. I'm chill. I ain't bearing no crosses. There was one who bared mine for me. And I'm good. <laughs> I don't have to keep doing nothing. Bear it for me. But that's, you know. I said, I grew up in that. I know, I know how weird it is. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Ooh, Chinese stream. What up? The things they used to do to my mother in the Catholic Church, because she was uh, a single mom, was deplorable and anything but godly. It was freaking straight up from the depths of hell what they used to do to her. Ostracize. Oh, you can't take communion because, oh, please, make them stand in the back like scarlet letter women. Oh, my God. What? That's that's pure evil. Hold on. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate that book. And you are right, Kevin. Forgiving yourself is the ultimate freedom. You just feel like, rah. If, if you made, uh, how would I say? Whoa. Hold on. You know, you got to have some type of contrition in your freaking heart, too, to fully uh, forgive yourself. You can't be just like, all right, I know I'm an asshole, and I know I just screwed this person over, but you know what? I'm going to let it go and forgive myself, and then go back to, you know, your typical modus operandi. You know, there's got to be contrition. You got to be like, you know, true forgiveness comes from, yeah, I fucked up. And you know what? From here on out, I'm going to try to keep a handle on that, you know, and do my best. And maybe even be a better person and make it up to the world. Put some positive back in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you can you feel like you can fly. You could tell a person who walks around with no guilt, you know? People confuse it sometimes with arrogance but it's just a sense of lightness that comes across you. Yeah. Wow, that's a deep conversation. What up? Tuba dude. <laughs> I would recommend people get a concordance, and like you, it'd be a it'd be a shocking revelation, you know. You'll find out how much you've been like taking other people's words for stuff.
but that's what I'm gonna say about that. There's a there's a pretty mighty presence going on. Uh oh, a big gorilla. Magilla gorilla. Head this way. Yeah, did you see that guy get get? I didn't think people saw that. I didn't think I had the camera in that direction. But that guy got uh, <laughs> got runded it over by that scooter, the skunk scooter activity. I could have broke his ankle. Where was the witnesses? Those are interesting people to have conversations with. You just gotta have patience. And they're, they're interesting people to talk to. I like picking people's brains. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow, this congested AF. Oh, no, 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 be quiet. Stop. Bro, hey, hey. Who put that music on? Look at it getting dark. Tom Mac with the five banana rounds. Thank you very much. Most appreciated. I think I gotta walk on the outside, but I don't like walking with my back to the traffic. Yeah, we gotta make some time. I don't know where I'm going, but I do. <laughs> I don't like walking slow. Cut back in. Him has like cracked his face on the sidewalk too. That, that he was a kid, I think. I don't know. I wasn't really paying that much attention, but I seen him tumble. <laughs> That's so beat they put a fence down there. That was lame. She never said thing. Rock on. Do, 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 do. Players, don't Did you guys ever see that video I put up? It's a short video, the first digital video I've ever taken in Las Vegas. I took it from here. I took it from this corner coming up. It's like a 30 second video. Ugh. A Sony Mavica that took a floppy disk. And I encoded it in flash. <laughs> For those of you geeks out there. And I put it up on the internet. And I found it, I don't know, like a year or so ago. It's kind of funny. It was right there. It was me filming card slappers. Because I thought it was interesting. The kid was all pissed off. He's like, why are you filming me? Whoa. Oh, check. What up, doggo? All right, I got to mute right now. They need some copyright claims from me. Yeah, that's true. I haven't seen many card slappers. I guess there's no ROI. I mean, do people actually do that? 
pick up one of those cards that was printed in like 89 and be like, oh yeah, Amber, let me dial that number, She'll come right to my room. I don't think people do that. Maybe they do, I don't know. over here. That was some good ass people watching. Got some hellos. Yeah, I was safe too. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll protect you, don't worry. Oh, you're going to protect me, Cole. Thank you. <laughs> 30 seconds is not enough. Let's pitch over here for a bit. Yeah, that's a fun corner too. <laughs> Let's see what we can catch on camera. How about all those uh, yesterday while we were doing the driving chat? How many people were running through red lights? We saw an accident because someone T-boned someone else. We saw that yesterday during the live and uh, the driving chat, and we saw at least what five or six people just drive straight through red lights like they weren't even there at full speed, not even hesitant. Uh, some of the lights off a couple of days ago for uh, Earth Day or some such nonsense. Tracy, would the athletics consider... I mean, that'd be a kind of a cool idea to make that bring the volcano as a center. It'd have to be rebuilt. I mean, it's basically cement-based paper mache. It's just a skeleton. There's nothing they could really bring. They could redo the skeleton and whatnot. But that would be interesting to make it the foundation of the new site over there. But at the same time, there's no guarantee whatsoever that the A's are going to take that property. In fact, uh, today it was reported that uh, Oakland offered them a f millions and millions and millions of dollars in tax cuts and equivalent to what we would have given them here, of course, because, you know, everyone in Las Vegas just, like, giving our money away. Um, and promised them to build extensions and to renovate their current stadium. So the plot thickens. I mean, it is people saying, yeah, it's, it's a guarantee. There's no guarantees. I think it's going to be the largest April Fool's joke ever. Personally, I'm like 50-50 that it even happens. Maybe 60-40 in favor of it not. And who wants them here anyway? I mean, they, they, could barely, they barely have like 5,000 people coming to watch them. Oh, but Vegas, Vegas will support them. You know, the, the Vegas people, if you give them a deal, you know, because they like that shit, you know, wearing the shirts and, oh, look what they did for, uh, you know, what they, I don't even know, Golden Knights. You know, they, they support them. They might support the A's, but the A's really aren't our, our team. Are they supporting the Raiders? Eh, yeah, kind of. I don't know. I don't know. But it's still up in the air. Might not even happen. 
Yeah, Fridays were run on Red Lights. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, dash cam in front and back. I mean, if I had one, I mean, luckily they still have those lawyers that can get you out of anything here in Vegas. They've been trying to do away with them. You know, they'll get you pretty much out of anything traffic related for like 75 bucks, you know, because it's just, it's, the system's so overwhelmed. They'd rather rubber stamp some stuff and fine you than actually F with you. But, um, Cams would help. I suggest everyone get one. I mean, I kind of regret not running my all the time, but... Is a ducky. Yeah, and it's the worst spot ever. You are correct, though, Roland. I mean, that's just going to cause so much congestion. I think they know for a fact that it's just going to be, you know, it's not going to happen. And that's just my guess. Well, I can't guess that they know for a fact. That wouldn't be right, but it's all big joke. It gave, it gave Tropicana a good reason to close, because that place was a turd anyway. I mean, I went in the bathrooms and everything, and they just, the place is just nearly collapsing. It's small, too. Square footage-wise of the casino floor was tiny, so the profit really isn't coming in from the slots and all that shit. It definitely wasn't coming in from the rooms because nobody wanted to stay there anymore. It's a, it's a gimbal. Holy shit! Cool, right? It, it fits most phones or what? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much anything. What? Where, what is it? It's just a gimbal. Uh, just look it's called up. a gimbal. Yeah, gimbal? just find one on Amazon. Gimbal. And make sure it can hold a lot of weight. Yeah. Okay. You know, and you can put any phone in there. Stable AF. That's badass. Yeah, man. I like that. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Me and my son do fishing uh, on live. He catches goods. Nice. Yeah, so I didn't need one. I've just been doing it with my, you know, holding it, trying to do the best I can, but one of those would be awesome. A lot of the guys, I watch a lot of fishing videos. A lot of them are using uh, yeah, the GoPro, the GoPro yeah. on the chest and then another yeah, one yeah. up there and whatnot, you know. Stabilization on them is good yeah. too. Yep. See ya. Yeah. She got married. You got a prenup, bro? Oh, she's dragging that. Oh, she's dragging that on the floor. Yeah, I think it is going to be, like, semi-domed or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah, who does want to sit out there in the heat? Because that is summertime. They only got off in the... Yeah, it was yesterday. That's true. It was April Fool's. That could have been one big April Fool's joke. Joke's on me. But I still don't believe anything. So Well, it's also going to come from the $380 million is also going to come from an increased room tax here. So, yes, it's going to come from the taxpayers. I mean, it's not like, hey, write them a check. I mean, you know, our money goes into a pool. It'd be nice if they fixed our streets and, you know, increase some, you know, law enforcement presence and <laughs> got rid of the crime, you know, which is rampant right now. But, you know, we don't have a choice where it goes, but there's so much of it, they could piss it away because, you know, everyone in Vegas, you know, they drink the Kool-Aid. So good for the local economy. It's so good for the local economy. That's such Kool-Aid. I, I, I hate when I even hear that. But anyway, I digress. It's also going to come from, a portion of it is going to come from ongoing taxes. And like they always say, it's a temporary, like for the, the Raiders Stadium. Oh, it's a temporary room tax until, you know, everything's uh, all paid off. Uh, really? 
that thing's been paid off twice, twofold already, almost, and they didn't drop the tax. There's no such thing as a temporary tax. In fact, the entire IRS, you know, the whole tax system in 19, what was it, 1915 or 1919 was supposed to be temporary. It was just supposed to be to raise money for WW1. And look where we is now. We got collectors with pew pews. And stand by for digital money. Yeah, I was supposed to be temporary. 105 years ago. Oh, still temporary. <laughs> We're just waiting for the next asteroid to hit. Then we'll, uh, then we'll uh, recant that. Retract it, whatever. That guy's blowing some Kenny G across the street. Wow, I got a strong whiff of chlorine just now. Oh, I'm getting a mint mobile again. Mint freaking mobile. Do, 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 do. Isn't that pretty? Look at that nautical twilight activities. Yeah, resort fees, tax. I mean, it's basically unconstitutional, but we can't get into that. You can't tax a tax, but, you know, somehow we do it. <laughs> Durr. Oh, yeah, I was talking about that, that uh, tuber that uh, got the book thrown at him for six months. He was, he was acting like a total dick, though. They did it just to be spiteful. I don't think it's constitutional, but they did they did put him away for six months for interference. That that should have been all over the news too. I'm, I'm humming whatever that song was. All right, people. Um, that was fun. You never know what we're going to talk about. You never know what I'm going to talk about. But a lot of it's inspired by you guys. And let's see. The replay from today's live. Not this one. The one over on, uh, on Bro Frederick. We're on Uncensored. HeyBroFrederick.com. That'll be up sometime tonight or tomorrow morning. Just got to do a little processing. And you'll get to watch it in case you missed it. And let's see. I'm going to invite you to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button and get notified when I do this again, which is at least five times a week. And if you want to support the channel, stuff, 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 stuff. And thank you for... Oh, you know what? I would be so remiss. You didn't think I knew that word, huh? If I didn't thank everyone for Super Chat activities tonight, so let's do that. Fan funding. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna shout this out. Bolt head for the two bananas. Patrick for the dollar. And Tom Mac for the five. I do appreciate it. Some grease to keep the wheels rolling. And I will see everyone tomorrow night. Not sure when, but the only way you'll know is if you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all the stuff. Check out all the links down below. I do have. A little uh, promo going you know if you uh, click on the link down there to my platform get a little discount on a membership plus some free to check out what I'm all about but if you didn't figure it out by now what can I say and on that note I'm gonna put my phone in my pocket I gotta do this right and on that note for Frederick out